You know, while there is arguably a gulf in class. So just four minutes gone on the clock. Osprey's lead, I think three points to nil. Our score graphics are proudly sponsored by SAS. You know, the, 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 what has led Ospreys to go 3-0 ahead has just been a lack of basics from Ulster, not failing to get the kick-off and then failing to clear, clear out of their, their own 22. So they'll need to tighten up in those areas. Fantastic catch there from Clinton Shivkovsky under the high ball. Ulster have possession across the halfway line. Defence up really quickly. Ball stays in Ulster hands. Darren Cave. Bulky centre does well. There's a good sidestep from Humphreys. It's away from one. Tries to back around another tackle to the ground. The ball is there, boss. Now can Ulster move this quickly? Ball is thrown out wide to Nagusa. What can Nagusa do from here? Almost gets away, gets the pass inside. Ulster going to try to score a try, surely. Dan Tui is in for the try. The Ulster second row, he did very, very well indeed to stay in support of Nagusa. Nagusa got tap tackled and just managed to get the pop pass away. And with just five minutes on the clock, well, that's a great result for the Ulster side. And visitors, visiting fans delighted. And a shell shot group of Ospreys players. Here you see the little half break from Ian Humphreys. Yeah, that's an outstanding uh, try by Ulster. It started with. Um, Darren Cave on the left-hand side, he managed to stay in field and it came back in field. We saw the, the really, really talented side of Ian Humphreys. He split the uh, Ospreys' defence when their prop, Paul James, came out of the line. And from there, the, the finishing was top class. It's really, really encouraging try. And you can see how delighted Dan Tui is. So hopefully this will allow Ulster to develop more of a platform in the game.